part one of my journey into the volcano. Hi everybody. Quick view of what's going on around me here. As you can see, logs coming down the mountains, base camp, and the ever-present lichens on the lava rock. Here we go. Up the path. Made it to the top of the volcano. I'm going to do a circular here and here. Ooh, it is so beautiful up here. The air is clean, fresh, and I'm out of breath. Anyway, I'm getting ready to go inside a volcano, people. I'll be back soon. Ciao. Down into a volcano. So guys, if you look down through the floor or under the rim, you will see that it's not a straight line all the way. We had to go 6,000 through a narrow section, but now we're coming to the top, and that's why we have the wheels on the left. Maybe a little bit, we just have to go through. So hold the rails just for a minute. Bumpity bump bump bump. This is awesome. I could do this as a job. Look how close we are to the walls. Alright guys, we are through the narrow section now. So you need to go all the way down from here. If you look at the walls over here, you can see the thin layers of magma, like pancake layers. These we get when the volcano is erupting. Each time the magma is puked up through the opening, we have a new layer on the wall. And then they are stacked on top of each other. And over here, you can see, also see the vertical scratching marks made by the magma when it's moving up and down through the net. And around the lift is the inner side of the little peak you uh, walked up to on the way from the camp. It's not made of solid rock. It's more like a pile of red scoria and magma. The volcano has uh, thrown up into the air and then it falls down to the ground. Look at the wall over there, you can see how it was covered with a thick layer of magma when the eruption was finished. You can see how it was leaking and drifting down, almost like thick chocolate. How long did it take them to build the scaffolding to come down here? Uh, the, the lift you mean? Yeah. It uh, takes us about few days to get it ready every season. Uh -huh. We remove everything each autumn before the winter comes. Uh -huh. It's just amazing. Wow. Just imagine tons and tons of molten lava just spewing out of here. <sighs> Is there any wildlife living here, like bats or, or anything? No. no, we don't have any bats in Iceland. No, okay. We don't here.
And it's chilly and rainy and cold in here, so no one likes to be here for a longer time. We are almost down to the ground. That's the rain seeping down from the volcano. It's water from the ground. You can see it as a fine mist. And there's the top. Oh, looks like another lift is coming down. Anyway, I wanted to capture that. Oh, this is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna do a whole full 360 of the crater so everybody can get a good look at what this place looks like. Air is fresh and clean, it's beautiful. The colors are just magnificent. Look at that. We'll swing around to the top and go over there. It's a big crack right there.
Wow, that's some close engineering. The Guinness left. I don't think so. <laughs> You're just being modest. <laughs> My brother-in-law is an engineer. He would be absolutely amazed. We are close. Look how close we are. This is a marvel of engineering. Now we come to the lichens. The moss. And to the surface. Just if you have fear of heights, there's nothing to be afraid of. You don't even think about it. And we're up. <laughs> 